I'm Tori Tayanaka, and I'm here with Jeffrey Moore from 3VO7. Tell us a little bit about your company and uh, what you guys do there. 3VO7 is a branding and advertising agency, and it specializes in medical device, pharma, and biotech. And um, we're based in Laguna Beach. We have been around for about six years now, and it, it's an extension of another agency that I had for about 14 years. What exact services is your agency offering? We're the complete answer. We would consider ourselves brand stewards. What's interesting is that clients usually come to us with their issues rather than a specific project or something like that. And we are considered partners with them as opposed to vendors. We have a phrase called Stractive where we really feel strongly that we should be involved in the strategy, that the strategy should be obvious to the tactics, and that the creative should manifest itself as what those strategy and tactics are. Some of the clients are revamps, some of the clients are launches. We don't discriminate. We've worked with some of the largest clients on the planet Earth as far as the category of pharma and biotech goes. And then we help startups too. We have some very good startups in our uh, portfolio where they have to literally develop the brand from scratch. And we've reinvented brands too. What are you guys offering that's different that by being so driven into one category? I think you're either a medical device, pharma, biotech agency, or you're not. And it's because all the legal regulatory compliance things, even the systems within those companies are different. I also like the clients that come from this environment. After 35 years in the advertising business, many, many people who have come to trust our abilities and love our conceptual way of thinking, they'll leave the medical device or pharmaceutical industry and go off into something else, and they'll want to take us with them. And we, for a while there, we went with them. We would end up in areas like cars and food, and we would do a very good job, but it isn't the same. Uh, there's something about the science that's very compelling for me. So you have to be extremely imaginative to think within a far more narrow category and give a brand charisma and actually create a manifestation of that that you can s express both to the consumer and the doctor and put them both on the same page. That is so compelling to me that it, it just keeps driving me back and back and back into harder products, richer products, deeper products that are really making differences in people's lives and uh, it keeps me there. That's where I'm meant to be. There were some travels and leaving the job and coming back at some point. What's that all about? When I had to start an agency in order to service clients that another agency abandoned, um, I called it the Moore Group, and we did that for about 14 years. And then I went through uh, D-I-V-O-R-C-E, and that made me really reconsider what I was doing. So um, I took a year off, and me and one of my friends, we went on a spiritual quest. 3V07 is where I took a piece of paper and on the left side of the paper I put everything that drove me out of this business and drove me crazy in the first place. And on the right side of the paper I put my gifts, my abilities, my interests, my love for advertising and what drove it. And I said to myself, well, what's going to keep all the stuff that on the crazy side from driving me crazy again if I want to concentrate on these things? And on the top of the paper I wrote unconditional love. I just have to put it out there, not worry about the money, and go about doing business the way I felt that it could and should and would be done. When I um, left the dining room table and came back, I was looking at unconditional love upside down, and I saw that the word love could be made out of the numbers 3V07, with the letter V in there. And I just did that as a reminder to myself that everybody on, is on the planet for a reason, let them be who they are, you be true to who you are, and a lot of stuff works itself out. And I found that very true. I've worked with some very hard-ass clients, extremely hard-ass clients. And as long as I keep my center and do my thing, uh, I've found that in the long run, they end up really respecting and honoring the way that we go about doing business.